everyone how are all of you today i hope you and your family members are having a blessful ramadan and all of you are in good health so in the previous video teacher diana has already talked to you about what is ramadan and why do we have to fast in the month of ramadan in today's video i'm going to be asking you what are you all cooking today and what are some little things that you can do in the month of ramadan aside from fasting okay so everyone what are you all having for breakfast today hmm it's been a few days in the month of ramadan and i'm very sure that all of you are eating really delicious food at home cooked by your family hmm i hope you guys are helping your parents at home so, what are you all having today? Chicken rice? Hamburger? Pizza? Nasi bready? Hmm, must be very delicious. So today, I'm going to make a simple food for breakfast. Are you ready? Come join me! Okay, so today I'm going to make a simple meal which is called the French toast with hot dog. So you need eggs, you need butter, you need pepper, salt, hot dog slice and breads. your mommy and daddy to actually prepare some meals for breakfast so moving on to the second part of the video i'm going to be sharing with you some things that you can do in the month of ramadan not only fasting but some little things to increase your reward and to make your ramadan a much more blissful ramadan so i will share with you five things that you can do in the month of ramadan number one make a timetable to plan out when you go to sleep, when will you wake up, and what will you do throughout the whole day. Number two, read the Quran or the Ikra. If you forget how to read or if you don't know how to read, it's okay, don't worry. There's video online that you can actually learn your Arabic from. You can also seek help from your mom and dad. In your timetable, put aside at least one hour to read the Quran or the Ikram. This is to ensure that you will not forget. Don't waste too much time playing your video games. Instead, you can actually look out for videos to learn more about our Prophet. Number 3. Help your parents. You can help your mom and dad to prepare for iftar. You can set up the table and also do housework. Our parents have worked so hard for us and if we can help them to make them happy, inshaAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be also happy with us. Number 4. Pray Taraweh. Make your house into a mini mosque. Since everyone is at home, take this opportunity to pray with every of your family members. Make this Taraweh prayer a special memory during this month of Ramadan. Number 5. You can do some donations. For example, you can put aside some old clothes, old shoes, old toys. You can donate them to people who are not as privileged as us. These are the five examples that you can do in the month of Ramadan to give it a meaningful memory. That's all for my video. I wish you all a blessful Ramadan. Hope to see you soon. Bye!